Okay, so the next app that we're going to build together is a very simple weather application. Now, I realize there are stock apps that come with uh, Windows 10 on the desktop and the phone. However, this one will allow us to express a little individuality, a little design. Also, we'll demonstrate some pretty cool features of both Windows 10, the platform, and then how to work with external services to get data to update and make your apps come alive. So uh, I'll go ahead and run the application. Actually, let me run it just on the desktop and uh, just have to trust me that it works in the mobile uh, version as well. And the name of the application I'm calling UWP Weather. It's a simple weather app. It's just going to go out and based on my current location here in Dallas, it's going to go out and find the current weather, what the weather conditions are, uh, where I'm actually at here, I'm in Plano, Texas, and then also will display uh, a, um, uh, an image, a cute weather image with a hot pink background uh, to, uh, to convey uh, what the, uh, the current weather is where I'm at. So uh, in the process of building this, uh, first of all, this is a great start to a weather application that you can take and extend, and you're going to learn how to do that. You can add uh, you know, a two-week forecast if you want using uh, online services that I'll point you to in this series. Uh, but one of the main things that you'll learn is how to use sensors on your device or in actuality the location services for Windows 10 to determine the geo position where the device or your computer is currently at. Uh, so that would give the latitude and longitude that we can then take and we can make calls out to an external web service like the openweathermap.org uh, which will allow us to um, give in a, a place, a, a latitude longitude will give us the weather for that location and even future uh, forecasts for uh, the hours and days ahead. So it's going to also allow us then to learn how to retrieve data from a web service in a typical fashion uh, through uh, a file format called JSON, JavaScript Object Notation, maybe you're already familiar with that, and deserialize that into instances of classes that we can work with in C Sharp. Very crucial skill outside of this example and throughout the rest of your life as a software developer. You have to know how to serialize and deserialize data from uh, data formats like XML and JSON uh, into objects and back. And then we're going to look at how to work with the phone emulator to test our application not just as it's used in the mobile on the mobile device itself and the layout things of that nature but then also how to change the position and and kind of tell the, the the location services that we're actually coming from Seattle or Washington Washington DC or or China uh, or whatever uh, and uh, so we'll, we'll look at a cool feature of of the emulator to do that as well for testing and then we're going to take a look at how to build a live tile for our application that will update periodically with the latest weather for our geo position, our latitude and longitude, and so that will not that will uh, teach us not only how to build live tiles, but then also we'll learn how to create a web service using ASP.NET MVC5 and host it out on Azure website. So we're bringing together a lot of cool disparate technologies to build a very interactive application. So uh, beginning in the next video, we'll get started with layout and, and learning how to access that web service and get back the data that we need. We'll begin that process in the next video. We'll see you there. Thanks.